Hello, good afternoon. I'm um, a bit bored, so I'm just making a quick modification. I've seen on YouTube by a couple of other members on there. It's called the um, secondary spring reversal. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, on these old Asian carburetors, they have a vacuum secondary, and it's just basically like a small diaphragm inside there. What happens is, on the certain loads, when the secondary venture is called for, the vacuum pulls in this little diaphragm and releases the locking mechanism which is just here you can just see it there the moment it's locked and that's the uh, that just basically stops it from bogging out the car at low RPM okay so what happens is um, you get a little pinhole inside these diaphragms and obviously the vacuum leaks thus this never opens and by the looks of it you can see it's never been opened I cleaned it about three months ago, it's still clean, even though that side's gotten a bit dirtier. So what I've done is the free mod is take this vacuum part off your carburetor. It's got two screws there, one, two, you need to release these springs here. Just one end with a pair of pliers will do, so you know where to go back afterwards. And that spring there. And then you just remove it from the carburetor completely. Then you remove these four screws there on each corner, pop out the plate and inside you will find the plastic diaphragm and on the, the behind part is a spring and all you need to do is take that spring from behind and put it up front as you can see there and now what happens is when you open the throttle the secondary wants to open too there you go I'm going to put this back in the car and see how it performs because it's a slug getting up hills and it's a slug at the rest of the time so hopefully it's free mod will give it a little bit more power because it's a 16 valve engine and even though it's 20 years old 22 it's a 1990 so what's that do the maths uh, it should perform getting up hills in second gear and it's only like a 10% gradient it should be doing better than that especially for 1.6 um, while the carburetor is off the car, I may as well just give it a quick once over. Um, yeah, make sure you take pictures and label up the vacuum hoses because there's that many bound to get mixed up. Yeah, I could do the quick clean. I might take off the top part and see if there's any varnish or gum in the uh, in the float bowls. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.